Hey guys, uh, the last couple of weeks I have been working on these uh, Grundy New Brains. This is the model AD which has a, like a screen built in and this is the model A um, without screen. Uh, these are two expansions for it. This is a memory expansion and this is a disk controller expansion so you can attach a, a floppy drive which I do not have. Um, while working on these, uh, a couple of guys I know from Facebook, uh, I think they are volunteers at the Cambridge uh, Computer Museum in Cambridge. Uh, they have been very nice, they have been helping me uh, repairing these computers. Um, these computers have a, a common issue, uh, the capacitors start leaking, so you have to recap them and you have to clean up all traces of uh, the corrosion caused by uh, the caps so um, also because I do not have uh, a floppy drive uh, for this computer I wanted to use a, a Gotik drive um, but no matter what I tried I was not able to create disk images um, for, uh, that worked so I I tried to use the, the CPM disks from uh, the emulator and a couple of uh, disk images I found on a dedicated New Brain website, but uh, that didn't work for me. Today I got a, um, a message from um, my Facebook friend Adrian Graham that he had successfully created uh, Gotik images, so that's what I'll do now. I'll connect up. Uh, the disk controller expansion to the working uh, Model AD. I have not gotten this uh, Model A working. Well, sometimes it just boots, but that's uh, more like a rare occurrence. Um, so it does work, it seems, but it does not give any video output anymore. I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, this one, however, I was able to fix and it works. So I'll connect these things up for you and uh, let's check if I can get that uh, uh, CPM image to boot. Here's the um, um, new brain connected to uh, the disk controller. Um, I haven't connected the power uh, cables yet. Um, I do not own the power supply for uh, these Grundy New Brains, so I had to uh, use my uh, homemade uh, PC um, bench power supply. Um, usually, uh, the original um, power supply for these computers use like uh, 7.5 uh, volts and 13. 0.5 volts and minus 13 volts something like that, but, but I do not have that. I guess that's regulated inside somewhere um, I know there's like where is it? here? There's two transistors uh, uh, They should have something to do with the uh, power regulation, I guess uh, so internally those higher voltages are regulated to uh, uh, 5 volts and 12 and minus 12 uh, but I only can uh, uh, deliver plus 12, minus 12, or and uh, plus 5. But I have this little Chinese thingy here. Um, if you want to know more about that, it's um, there's a good review on uh, the EEV blog on uh, YouTube. Uh, I will post the link below. Um, so I can deliver uh, plus 12, minus 12, and 6.5 the, the original power supply delivered 7.5 but I have noticed in, in the case of my machines here that 6.5 works better don't know why something maybe it's because it's old machines well in any case it works better with 6.5 volts so I will connect it up with 6.5 volts uh, I will need some extra wires to power the uh, this controller, so I'll get that done now. Okay, it's all connected up um, with these breadboard uh, little cables. Um, the go take to the disc controller. So 
I'll power it down now. I actually uh, already tried um, if I can get it to work but I still get the same error message so it's not working yet. So I put the 6.5 volts on then you get this crap on screen that takes about 6 to 8 seconds and then the computer will boot up then we get new brain basic so the GoTech is uh, also powered on if I now type the CPM command to load the CPM the GoTech sorry about this the GoTech will light up yeah but uh, after a while I'll just get an error message no response from this control you cannot read it very well I don't know why that uh, image quality is so bad anyway it says no response from disk controller no matter what I try I have two images on this one the, the CPM boot and the CPM uh, CPM uh, apps uh, disk image uh, but none of them uh, work so it's trying the other image now but I will just get the same error message so well have not gotten it to work yet um, uh, maybe there's still something wrong with the, the disk controller that's possible although it does start reading the, the drive uh, maybe there's my uh, my floppy cable is not correct or maybe it's because of the incorrect voltages that's also a possibility so for now I'll uh, set it aside again uh, I, I've spent like two or three weeks on these machines now so I've had it <laughs> uh, I hate them um, so I will put them in a box for now I ordered uh, a cheap uh, oscilloscope and a logic probe from Aliexpress what else I, I hope to have equipment w with which I can uh, do some more uh, investigation to what is wrong with because now all I have is a multimeter um, next I would like to talk about these things <laughs> a huge printer uh, but uh, I, I got a donation from somebody from the Pane in Belgium uh, these are well this one is almost a computer this one is actually a big big calculator uh, these were used for uh, scientific uh, research purposes um, but I'll get back to you in a while I'll clean up the desk there and uh, move these and then in a later video I want to talk about this thing uh, 